change colors. guys and welcome to my channel my name is Ashton and I make all things home content whether it's decorating cleaning or home projects which today's video is actually a combination of all three so be sure to stick around to see us totally reinvent this entryway space but if you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that so you can be a part of the family and turn your notification bell on that way you do not miss any of my future videos all right let's get started All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the cedar chest right here real quick just because I wanna keep it all nice and clean after moving all that stuff off of it. The paint chips kinda got all over it, but this piece is very important to me. It actually belonged to my great-grandmother and she left it specifically for me because I think I was maybe, like, I don't know, I was a baby whenever she passed away. So she bought this with the intention of giving it to me, but we're gonna go ahead and clean it off before we move it. Just face it, you can't do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better, so much better. So right after I move this, I am going to do just a really quick vacuum because I don't want to scratch anything as I'm walking through here moving things, but I will definitely have to vacuum again later. But we are going to move the dining room bench that honestly just sits against our wall because whenever it's just us, we just sit in the regular chairs. Whenever I have a big group over, I use the bench. So it's really just sitting in there not being utilized and it's really cute. So I figured for the time being, I would bring that in here to fit this space without having to go spend money on a new table because I am trying to do this whole entire project on a budget and not spend like a crazy amount to reinvent this space. So speaking of being on a budget, majority of the items I am using today has come from the Dollar Tree. Anything else I used in today's video was things I already have, but I did get these cute pumpkins that are absolutely adorable, little cloth pumpkins. Um, and I did get two that I'm going to show you here in just a second for Everly's room. So they're not going to be used today, but they were pink and they were only $1.25. So I snagged those up before they were all gone. But they had tons of colors to choose from for any style that you were going for this season. And I also grabbed this cute blanket because it felt like fall, but a neutral fall for me. So we're going to throw that over the bench later when we decorate. So be sure to stick around to see how everything comes together at the very end. But as I said, this is a DIY budget project. So we're going to take these frames that I got from the Dollar Tree and we're going to totally make them look like the modern style that you see all the time with the grid photo frames. So I'm going to show you how to change this and get that look without having to spend the 50 bucks on Amazon for a set. Um, I did actually get these nails from Hobby Lobby, so I guess this is the only thing I got that wasn't from Dollar Tree, but I just needed to have those nails for hanging. And right here, you're going to see me play around if I wanted to do columns of four or three, um, but let me know down below what you think looks best. I went with three just because I felt like it felt like it fit the space better and wasn't going to be too cluttered, but that's what I'm trying to do right now is figure out spacing. ahead and throw out there as a disclaimer that this may not be the best way or most efficient way but as a creative artist type person I definitely just always do things my own way so there may be a more efficient way of measuring and making things absolutely perfect but all I did was measure the distance from the hook from where I'm wanting the picture to hang and then I just mark it with a little dot with my pen and everything is going to line up.
So right here, I'm going to use a scrap piece of wood I actually had in the garage instead of the ruler because I just don't want to get confused with all the lines. I know that may sound silly, but the ruler is just so much easier for me to use when I'm measuring the distance for the hook. And then I'm using the white piece of wood to measure the distance in between frames. That way I can keep all of my numbers straight and remember how everything needs to go. Also, I'd just like to take the time right now to say thank you so much to everyone who has tuned in to my past two fall decorating videos and subscribed to my channel. It absolutely means the world to me and I'm just completely blown away with the response I have had and the amount of subscribers I have gained. I am just so excited to be creating this content for you guys and to establish a community with you. So be sure to leave a comment if you're new because I would love to chat with you. And thank you again so much if you've already subscribed to my channel. I love you guys so much. Again, I know this may not be the most efficient way of getting things done or the most perfect, but I do think it turns out looking absolutely phenomenal. In my opinion, <laughs> this is my first like big DIY type project and putting all the frames on here without Dylan. So I just wanted to point that out that you can do this super easily by yourself without any power tools. Now we're going to move on to actually making these frames look like the more modern contemporary style. So I do have a very nice printer that I've used for my artwork in the past. So I am printing out some pictures that I had taken of us this past spring and I'm just going to print them out and then I'm going to cut them on my little paper cutter that you'll see here in a minute. And we're just going to get everything to be the right size and then we will assemble it to make it look like it has a matte border but actually we're just gonna use paper. So here we go, we're gonna start the assembling process. All I'm gonna do is remove the backing and the pieces that actually came with the frame because we're not using those. And then I just took some scrapbook paper, flipped it over to where it has the white side, and I am going to find the center of the frame. Luckily, this is an exactly 12 by 12, so all I had to do was find where the six is, and then I'm going to measure down three inches to make sure that the top of my photo is center in this paper and that is what's going to give it the feel of having that thick matte border but all we're going to do is stick the photo on top of the paper and actually all i use for that is going to be some um, glue dots that you use for like balloon arches i got these from target forever ago they last such a long time i think there's 200 in a pack and it maybe is like three or four dollars but this is an easy way to make it stick without it like ripping the paper because you'll see here in a minute that I have to fix it a little bit so it like sticks enough to have everything firm and pressed but it also will peel off of that cardboard paper backing. Spending time reminiscing of what it used to be Not letting go when I want to
now is the fun part. We get to finally put these frames up to see how they look and I am just blown away. I absolutely love how they turned out and it was super easy to get this look and you don't have to spend not even half the money it costs to buy these on Amazon. So I'm very excited with how everything turned out. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high. Every All right, so now we're gonna get started on the next part of this DIY project, which is to hang light fixtures above the frames. Now, I am not an electrician, so I completely went about this project a little bit different. Um, to save money, I did just buy the fixtures, but I bought some LED lights separately. So what I'm going to actually do is you'll see these little button lights that I bought. I'm going to actually hot glue those to the fixtures, and I will get the beautiful look of having lights without having to tear into my walls and get wiring and hire an electrician and spend money. So this is a super easy way to get the look or the high end look that you want. And it actually turns out way cooler because you'll hear me in just a second why. <laughs> They change colors. That's fun. So we will get to play with the colors in a little bit, but I'm just showing you here how I twisted it on the fixture to get it to rub into the plastic. And then all I'm gonna do is put a thick layer of hot glue where it rubbed on that ring. And that way, as soon as I stick it, it will give it enough glue to kind of wrap around those metal edges and stick. I am gonna hold it firmly for about 30 seconds to make sure that it sticks and cools. But it's super easy to remove these. I'm gonna grab this one I did earlier. You just twist and it comes off and you can put it back. So you don't have to worry about ever having to take it off like the hot glue. It will always be set and easy to change the batteries. I did enlist Dylan's help with putting these fixtures up just because it was up pretty high and I wanted to make sure they were centered and it was just really hard to kind of like do that by yourself so he's going to hang them and I'm in the background telling him if it's centered or not. I am just absolutely blown away with this whole color changing thing. I, I don't know, I guess when I ordered them, I just wasn't paying attention that it offered different colors. But the cool thing is with the remote controller, you can change each light individually. So you have tons of color combos that you can change it for whatever's going on. So we had Baylor colors, you can change it if you want it to be a cultural thing or a holiday thing, like we're gonna put um, red and green for Christmas and like I just got so excited right there but you guys after I vacuum up right here we finally get to decorate I know this is like my favorite part and I assume you probably have been waiting this whole time just to see it but I do go with a very simple look and keep in mind everything we got was from the Dollar Tree for it with items I already had around the house, so be sure to shop around your home. Like I use these pillows that I've had and literally move them around. You'd be very surprised with how things feel new just by putting them in a new space. So I highly recommend taking inventory of what you have before you go and spend money because you could save a lot more that way alone. But 
Everything I used today was either from the Dollar Tree or for Amazon, so I will try to link everything from the Dollar Tree below in the description, and I will also provide the link to my Amazon storefront for the fixtures and the LED lights if you're interested in those. But for now, I'm going to stop talking so I can finish decorating this space and show you guys everything we got done today. This blanket was seriously giving me the hardest time. I don't know why or how people make it look so effortless when they just drape a blanket, but I have a very hard time figuring it out. <laughs> all right you guys i just wanted to say one more time thank you so much for being here and being a part of this youtube journey of mine please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and give this video a big thumbs up if you made it all the way till the end because i would love to know if you did and let's chat down in the comments but i will see you guys in the next video Bye. Cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me.